So I want to explain how to use G-Power to do uh, power analysis for logistic regression. I get that option if I do Z-tests and then I can choose logistic regression. I'm not exactly sure why I have to do Z-tests, but that's the only way I get an option for logistic regression. Um, this area I would do two unless you have a strong theory about why you want to test just one tail. Um, odds ratio, you press determine and then you put two numbers here and there. But this is the proportion. The first one is the proportion of uh, successful outcome in the treatment group. So let's say 055 and this is the uh, the other one is the uh, proportion of successful outcome in the control or the comparison group so let's say 0.45 in this case the difference is 10 percent and that's what you are assuming you want to be able to confidently tell if 10 percent is uh, statistically significant i press ca calculate and then push calculate and transfer to main window then all this information, all these pieces of information are now transferred to the left side or the main side of the window. Um, I set these two proportions to be around 0.50 because when I don't know exactly what the proportion is in empirical reality, this setting, of, it, this setting would be the most conservative thing to do because error exists at the largest amount of error exists around 50%. But if you are studying um, high school graduation and you already know that the uh, comparison group on average graduates at 0.885, for example, and then you apply some kind of a treatment and you expect to achieve, let's say, 10% of difference, then you will be doing 0.85 versus 0.95. In that case, I would be entering here 0.85, oh, maybe 0.95, and you already know on average uh, high school students graduate at the proportion of 0.85, and then the difference is 10%. But in this application, I well, let me just do 0.55 and 0.45. And I already calculated, and I already pressed this. Now let's take a look. So odds ratio was transferred based on this calculation. This one, 0.45, is also based on what I entered, which is the proportion of um, successful outcome in the comparison group or control group. This one, uh, alpha error probe, it's an alpha level, so I put 5%, 0 0.05. This is uh, a level of statistical power that I want to achieve, I would say 80%. The next one I put zero because this is like a QED and we force two groups to be equivalent uh, in terms of baseline covariates. Which zero means that there's no correlation between covariates such as proportion of gender, uh, prior G, uh, achievement level, and those things are the same for treatment and comparison group, then I would say it's, I put this zero. X distribution, this is about the treatment status and in my, in this case, it's a binary um, variable. Um, it's either uh, you are in the treatment group or in the control or comparison group. So it's binomial. The, this last one, I put 0.5 because those two groups have the same number of subjects, like 50 kids in one group and 50 in the other. Because it's 50-50, I put 0.05 and then push calculate and total sample size you need to achieve 80% uh, achieve of statistical power is 786.